What is up guys, Alex here from Tech Labs and in that video I'm gonna be showing you guys a really cool cleaner which is a eye cleaner for the iPhone that can clean some of the junk files, some of the temporary files and all that stuff to get you most of your iPhone. So guys, this one was available with a jailbreak but as you know we do not get any jailbreak out now for the iOS, um, for the iOS 9.3.3 but still, you can download this one and it will be installed just fine with no problems at all. So guys, in that video, I'm going to be showing you the exact tutorial, how you can install it. And later, we're going to check if that actually works. So guys, without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so the whole tutorial will not take place on this iPhone because I've already got it installed in here. But I'm going to do the same on this iPhone and show you just right now. So guys... First of all, you need to go to this page, it's called xcedia.mdin... Okay, so <laughs> basically this page, I'm gonna have the link in the description, don't worry about that. So right now you're on this page, this is just the one page available right out there. And now you click install Xcedia. So now you're gonna be prompted to uh, install a certificate, which is a Xcedia 3.0. Install next, install, install once again, and now done. Okay, now go to your home screen and there should be an Xcedia. Now you should launch the application and wait a couple of seconds. All right, so we now go to tools, go through tools and there you see the iCleaner. So let's go ahead and install this one. And it says requires date loophole. That means that we have to do the uh, date trick or something like this. All right, so I'll show you how to do that. Okay, you tap here to install, you tap here. Okay, so yeah click install now we have to go back to settings now go to date and time uh, click that switch set automatically and now we have to go back to 2011 or maybe further like 2012 or let's see all right okay 2004 let's see if it can be installed all right so we will have to wait a couple of seconds until it's installed and later I will show you what you have to do Alright, so we got it here, so now guys, if you click on the icon, it will say Untrusted Enterprise Developer. Now you have to go back, oh sorry, <laughs> okay, go back to settings, and now hit that switch set automatically once again, so it will uh, set up a correct date and time. Now go to Profiles and Device Management, and there you should see this uh, specific uh, certificate for that app. So it is called VNE Software and something like this. So click here, click on the certificate to trust it and click trust once again. And now, yeah, so it's done. So now guys, we will go to this application and test it out. How much space does it clean? And I'm going to be doing the same on my iPhone 6 here and we'll see how much space does it clean and does it work at all. Okay, so now let's see how much storage do we have. So it's 10.1 gigabytes free. And now let's go to this program and now launch it and try to clean something. All right, so we will allow temporary files clean up here and okay, confirm. Let's start cleaning and let's see if that works. Continue. Okay. Yeah, so guys, it's a bit slow right now, but I'm gonna come back after it's done and show you the exact result. Okay guys, so I decided to make it shorter, so now <laughs> while it's cleaning on my iPhone 5 here, so I'm gonna do the same on my iPhone 6. Uh, let's go ahead and launch this uh, iCleaner, or oh, maybe let me show you the how much storage do we have, because you know this one is my primary iPhone and we'll see if that works. So it's uh, 807 megabytes of storage, alright. So we go back here to iCleaner and now allow some purifiers clean up, clean, and now fast mode, alright. So I'm gonna come back guys after it's done. Wow, look at that. I don't know guys what is happening right now. We have fast mode enabled on both of those devices, but as you can see cleanup on the iPhone 6 is much much faster and I don't know why. This is, yeah, this is probably the mystery, but I don't know. Let's wait for the cleanup and let's see how it does. Okay, so there we go. We have a first cleanup on my iPhone 6. It will say uh, the storage is almost full. This is normal. This is just the way it cleans. Click done and then click confirm. And let's go back and see how much storage that we got from this. So it's 943 megabytes. I think not much, but at least something, at least something, guys. So previously, I also did some kind of a cleanup. So maybe if you haven't cleaned your iPhone for maybe half of the year or year, it will take like maybe one ter one <laughs> sorry, gigabyte or more. But 
uh, who knows but we're gonna wait for our iPhone 5 and see the result also in here okay so it's done cleaning let's hit done and now we can click on the confirm button but it probably will take like two seconds more let's wait a couple of seconds here guys and we will see how much it can clean out of our device so all right so it's let's click confirm now we can go back to uh, settings and see how much did it clean so it's it was about 10.1 gigabyte before and now 10.3 gigabytes at least 200 megabytes is yeah i think it's nothing for some people but at least 200 megabytes is a huge amount of storage for the cache files for all the junk files and you know all that stuff but anyway a pretty nice result and i think you'll like this one at least i appreciate the cleaner so much but anyway guys that's all for today if you want to see some more cleaning videos make sure to leave a comment down below and say about it i'll definitely do some kind of that videos if you're interested and yeah guys if you like that video make sure you click that like button also please subscribe to the channel because i really really need your support and this was alex with you from tech labs and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one peace out